Australia, a tropical paradise. But these pristine waters conceal sinister undercurrents. The oceans surrounding this island continent are home to some of the deadliest creatures known to man. Marine assassins that strike from the shadows or wield biological weapons that kill with terrifying efficiency. Curiously intriguing. Exquisitely beautiful. And exceptionally lethal. These are the case files of Australia's notorious ocean killers. From otherworldly predators with a knockout punch to flamboyant femme fatales to the monsters of our deepest nightmares. In these waters, there is little more fearsome than the jaws of a great white shark. Perfectly adapted marine predators, sharks have prowled the oceans for more than 400 million years. Worldwide, there are around 400 species of shark almost half of which can be found in the waters surrounding Australia. Monsters of the deep, the stuff of myth and legend. They are supreme killers. Over the last 50 years, there have been 53 fatal shark attacks in Australian waters. But usually, these so-called man-eaters prefer prey of a different flavour. Hammerhead sharks hunt stingrays. Tiger sharks attack and kill turtles and even other sharks. But there is a giant amongst their number with a taste for warm-blooded victims. It's the largest of all flesh-eating sharks. The Great White, one of the most feared predators on Earth. But it is not human flesh that whets this monster's appetite. Inhabiting the colder coastline of southern Australia, fur seals make for tempting appetizers. While sea lions are the main course, the colonies here make up a significant part of the Great White's diet. This alpha male sea lion watches over a group of females and their pups. On land, they appear cumbersome and clumsy. But once they enter the water, it quickly becomes apparent that they are in their element. Sea lions are fast, agile and elegant swimmers. Their streamlined bodies enable them to efficiently chase down prey species like crustaceans and cuttlefish. But the sea lions aren't the only marine predators to prowl the chilly waters of the great southern ocean. And all this activity does not go unnoticed. A nightmare of the deep approaches. Great white sharks can detect the scent of prey species from great distances. For this 15 foot long monster, the sea lion hunting ground is a smorgasbord. 
Busy with their own hunt, the adult sea lions are oblivious to the approaching threat. And the great white seizes the opportunity to target one of the pups. Weighing around one ton, it breaches the water's surface at over 30 miles an hour. Returning to the beach, the adult sea lions have one less mouth to feed. Even the most attentive of parents have little hope of defending against such an overwhelming force of nature. A veritable powerhouse, the great white shark terrorises the Australian coastline with brutish strength and fierce jaws. But Aussie killers come in all shapes and sizes. And to survive in this bloodbath, even the most delicate of Mother Nature's creatures have come to rely on lethal biological weapons. Far from the frigid waters of the Great Southern Ocean, the warm seas of Australia's tropical north appear to be a swimmer's paradise. But looks can be deceiving. Every year from November to April, blooms of jellyfish lay siege to Australia's northern coastline. While some are harmless, others are amongst the deadliest creatures known to man. The venom of the tiny Irukandji jellyfish is a hundred times more potent than a cobra's and a thousand times deadlier than that of a tarantula. But Irukandji aren't considered to be the most dangerous marine stingers in these waters. That title belongs to the box jellyfish, one of Australia's most notorious killers. Over the last 130 years, these aquatic assassins have claimed the lives of more than 70 people. The rapid onset of box jellyfish envenomation can lead to cardiovascular collapse and death in a matter of minutes. It's a terrifyingly efficient way to subdue prey, which is typically small fish. Stinging cells contained within the 10 foot long tentacles inject venom upon contact, bringing about a quick death. The extreme nature of the jellyfish's chemical weapon helps to protect its delicate tentacles from being damaged by a struggling victim. Although not as ferocious as the great white shark, these toxic terrors have few natural predators. Present in vast numbers, jellyfish blooms can stretch as far as the eye can see. But sometimes it's the things that we can't see that pose the greatest threat. Hiding on the sea floor is a clandestine predator with a deadly reputation, the reef stonefish. Spanning over 1,250 square miles, Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on the planet. But amongst this beauty, unseen terrors lie in wait. Shunning the limelight, a reef stonefish conceals itself on the sea floor. A master of disguise, it's easy to see how this predator got its name. Its mottled colours blend in with the reef setting. It will even tolerate algae growing on its skin 
to further aid concealment. The stonefish is an awkward swimmer. But it's patient, a required trait for an ambush predator. By burying itself in the sandy seabed, it becomes almost invisible. Even its large bulbous eyes are indistinguishable from its surroundings. This nocturnal predator preys on crustaceans, small fish and cephalopods that stray too close. The slightest movement would betray its presence. Surprise is everything. The stonefish's strike is explosive. Its wide gape rapidly envelops unwary prey, which is swallowed whole. Its use of surprise attack makes it a formidable predator. But the stonefish is most renowned for its deadly defence. It's the most venomous fish in the world. Concealed within its dorsal fin are 13 needle-like spines. Fed by venom glands, these spines form a lethal defensive array. A toxin unique to stonefish, known as Veruca toxin, attacks the nervous and circulatory systems and can prove fatal to would-be predators. In humans, stonefish envenomation can result in severe pain and life-threatening restrictions to blood flow and breathing. Hunters beware. More often than not, these silent assassins will have the last laugh. The reef stonefish has made an art form of concealment. Lurking within the shallows is another marine assailant, one that employs a more proactive strategy. It advertises its message in neon blue. Touch me and you die. Roughly the size of a baseball, the soft-bodied blue-lined octopus looks deceptively vulnerable. And with a relatively short lifespan of just seven months, the species depends upon some rather extreme survival strategies. This sea snake is prowling for food. The octopus has a choice to make, hide or stand and fight. It opts to hide. Like most cephalopods, the blue-lined octopus is a master of disguise. Sophisticated skin tissues allow it to rapidly change not only its colours, but also the texture of its skin to better blend in with its surroundings. The sea snake continues its search for a meal. But some predators are armed with more refined senses. The hammerhead shark possesses an array of electroreceptors that can detect even the best hidden of prey on the seafloor. Confronted with the threat, the blue-lined octopus decides to change tactics. It sends a vivid message. 
Iridescent blue markings pulsate across its body, warning the predator that it's armed and dangerous. Its deadly bite is 10,000 times more toxic than cyanide. In humans, envenomation can cause respiratory failure, leading to cardiac arrest and eventually death in as little as a few minutes. In nature, such threat displays are generally heeded and the hammerhead continues on its way. On a smaller scale, the blue-lined octopus is also a predator. It scours the ocean floor, searching for small fish and crustaceans. As a soft-bodied cephalopod, it's vulnerable to counterattack, and this crab's pincers could inflict grievous bodily harm, albeit in self-defense. A surprise attack presents the best chance of success. The octopus's dexterous tentacles restrain the crab's menacing claws, while its sharp beak easily penetrates the crab's exoskeleton, delivering its toxic bite. The crab quickly succumbs to a lethal combination of toxins contained within the octopus's venom. There's no doubt with this pint-sized perpetrator, blue, means back off. Flashing its blues works well for the octopus, a vivid warning signal. But when danger comes close, it helps to pack a powerful punch. Amidst the strange and often brutal underworld of this subaquatic realm, one puny pugilist stands out from the crowd. The peacock mantis shrimp. Otherworldly in appearance, there's more to this odd creature than meets the eye. It's a formidable predator. Its bizarre appearance is the result of 80 million years of evolution. With an appendage for every occasion, the peacock mantis shrimp is the Swiss army knife of the marine world. Five pairs of legs for feeding. Three pairs of legs for walking two pairs of antenna for reception, 10 gills for breathing, two eye stalks bearing an extraordinary pair of compound eyes, and even a set of windscreen wipers. But of its 34 appendages, it's those club-shaped limbs at the fore that make it a true killer. At just six inches, he punches well above his weight. His hunting strategy is one of brute force. Understandable when prey species include the well-armed and well-armoured, not to mention well-camouflaged. But camouflage is of little use when hunted by a peacock mantis shrimp. His eyes are amongst the most complex in the animal kingdom. While human eyes have just three colour photoreceptors, he 
has 12. With the capacity to see far beyond the human visible spectrum, very little escapes his attention. While the crab's defences are formidable, this seasoned brawler treats them with contempt. He's more than a little territorial and knows exactly who's moving through his patch. Especially those of the tasty variety. Unaware of the mantis shrimp's presence, the crab strays close. Too close. With the velocity of a 22 caliber bullet, the mantis shrimp strike is the fastest in the animal kingdom. The assault is so fast that friction makes the surrounding water boil. The devastating punch knocks limbs off the victim and delivers a quick death. With built-in cutlery at his disposal, his home-delivered crab meat meal is ready to eat. The peacock mantis shrimp punches well above its weight. But there are far larger brawlers lurking in these waters. Prowling the coastline, one heavyweight killer devours just about anything that crosses its path. The tiger shark. The complex structures of Australia's Great Barrier Reef form the foundations of a bright and bustling metropolis. But every neighbourhood has its bully. Growing to more than five metres long, tiger sharks are aggressive predators. In these waters, few are safe from their insatiable appetite. Tiger sharks are responsible for a large percentage of fatal attacks upon humans. But these monsters will more often prey on marine mammals, stingrays, even other sharks. In Australia's far north, tigers have developed more refined tastes. They've become specialised hunters. Between November and April, tiger sharks gather here in large numbers travelling from as far afield as Papua New Guinea. They're attracted by a natural phenomenon. Rain Island is the world's largest green sea turtle nesting site. But to lay their eggs, the sea turtles must make it to shore. And that's no easy feat. As they approach the beach, the sea turtles must run the shark gauntlet. Tigers prefer to launch their deadly assault from below. So the sea floor offers some protection against surprise attack. But the turtles must occasionally surface to breathe. And that puts them in mortal danger. For the sea turtles, timing is everything. This one has spotted the lurking predators and bides her time. Another chances a breath. And pays the ultimate price. Once dispatched, the tiger shark uses powerful jaws and serrated teeth to dismember its victim, shell and all. Amidst the feeding frenzy, the onlooker breaks from cover. An 
makes a final dash for the beach. She's one of the lucky ones. Many turtles will not make landfall. Instead, falling victim to the murderous appetites of the tigers that ruthlessly prowl the neighbourhood. With such menacing monsters in the water, it helps to be able to avoid detection or have the capacity to defend oneself. One fierce fish can do both. The lionfish. The cold-blooded killers in Australia's coastal waters are armed with jaws, harpoons and gruesome spikes. But few are as flamboyant as the lionfish. It's named for its long flowing fins that resemble a lion's mane. Beautiful, but deadly. A femme fatale. The lionfish's irregular outline helps to conceal its presence when viewed from a distance. Another piece of seaweed wafting in the current. But up close, its bright colours and bold markings serve as a vivid warning to would-be predators. Look, but don't touch. Also known as devil firefish, Lionfish are armed with potent venom. Each long flowing dorsal spine is tipped with an extremely sharp point. Glands within these spines produce powerful neurotoxins. In humans, Lionfish envenomation can cause extreme pain, respiratory paralysis, and occasionally, death. Their formidable toxins and vivid threat display have earned these fish a healthy respect amongst the reef community. They have few natural predators. Although armed and fabulous, Lionfish don't use their venomous spines to hunt. They're strictly for defence. They're ambush predators, relying on camouflage to sneak up on a victim. Unaware of its presence, small reef fish make for easy targets. By rapidly sucking water through its wide gape and pumping it out the gills, the lionfish creates a vortex, dragging this hapless fish to its doom. This femme fatale literally eats its victims alive. Though only the size of a football, the lionfish sits comfortably near the top of its food chain a marine assassin with flair. While the stealthy lionfish terrorises inhabitants of the reef, there is another killer here that attacks the reef itself. A notorious predator that leaves death and destruction in its wake. But it too has its nemesis. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is a wonder of the natural world. Yet, it's under threat. 
Rising sea temperatures, attributed to global warming, are killing off the corals that give the reef its structure. Adding to the peril is a natural-born coral killer. At around 30 inches in diameter, an individual crown of thorns starfish can devour up to 30 square feet of coral in a single year, which might not sound like much, but when present in vast numbers, the results are catastrophic. And these sea creatures produce more offspring than any other marine organism on Earth. Each female develops over 50 million eggs in a breeding season. From the age of six months, the diet of juvenile starfish is comprised almost entirely of coral. Its characteristic venomous spines protect it from most predators. En masse, they are a force to be reckoned with. Yet, for the reef, there is hope on the horizon an unlikely predator, the giant triton, one of the ocean's largest sea snails. Tritons can measure over a foot and a half from tip to tail. This giant gastropod feeds upon sea cucumbers and sea stars. The crown of thorns starfish seems to be one of its favourite foods. When hunting, the triton uses scent trails to track its prey. But it's not the only one with an acute sense of smell. The starfish senses the approaching threat and attempts to flee. The triton gives chase. It may appear that these creatures are going nowhere fast. But make no mistake, this is an active pursuit. A race to the death. With nowhere to hide, the starfish relies on its venomous spines as a last line of defence. But the starfish's defences offer little deterrent to the persistent predator. Giant tritons have developed a tolerance to the starfish's toxins and their saliva contains a paralysing agent which brings the pursuit to an abrupt halt. Its hard-fought meal is now ready for consumption. It uses a serrated organ known as a radula to lacerate the soft tissue between the starfish's spines, then sucks the life from its paralysed victim, leaving little behind but an empty husk. But, as is the nature of a sea snail, it's in no hurry. While giant tritons patiently stalk their prey across the seafloor, other marine predators move with speed and precision. The streamlined bodies of sea snakes 
have evolved to be fast, agile and deadly. A toxic serpent stalks Australia's reefs. A six foot long predator with a lethal bite. The olive sea snake. Unable to move on land, the olive sea snake is extensively adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. But like all snakes, it's an air-breathing reptile. It has a giant lung that runs nearly the length of its body, allowing it to stay submerged for hours at a time. As it tracks small fish and invertebrates amongst the nooks and crannies of the reef. Specialised valves in the sea snake's nostrils prevent water from entering its lungs when diving. And while its vertically flattened tail provides propulsion when on the hunt, it also serves to protect the snake from becoming the hunted. Like eyes in the back of its head, photoreceptors on top of its tail act as an early warning system to detect passing predators, giving the serpent a head start on hiding from hungry eyes. But for the prey species of this stealthy assassin, there are few places to hide. Offering a false sense of security, the confined space of this fish's refuge is easily infiltrated. The serpent strikes with the longest fangs of all sea snakes, injecting neurotoxic venom and fast-acting peptides that lead to almost instantaneous paralysis. Potentially lethal to humans, this highly toxic venom claims the fish's life within moments. While sea snakes actively hunt down their prey, there are other nefarious characters amongst Australia's marine assassins that prefer to lure unsuspecting victims to their death. In these sinister waters, deceit and deception are commonly employed as survival strategies. The dark art of camouflage, a prime example. It's frequently used to set up a kill or avoid being killed. This is one of the craftier perpetrators, the anglerfish capable of adapting their appearance to suit their environment. These colourful con men are masters of disguise. Instead of swimming, they use their fins to slowly prowl the sea floor in search of prey, like small fish and squid. Within its bag of tricks, this anglerfish possesses a rather unusual tool. A biological lure, known as an esker, protrudes from its forehead. Resembling a wriggling worm, it tempts prey from the safety of cover. A cuttlefish emerges to investigate. 
amongst the most intelligent of marine invertebrates, it doesn't buy into the scam. Nearby, a painted anglerfish casts its line. But just in case the lure isn't tempting enough, it also secretes a chemical attractant into the surrounding water. Its strike is faster than the blink of a human eye. A bite-sized snack. But these remarkable predators are capable of taking much larger prey. Anglerfish can expand their mouth cavities to 12 times the original size, a trait that allows them to punch well above their weight. Also reliant on camouflage, a flounder conceals itself within the sandy seabed unaware that a hairy anglerfish is posing as a sea anemone nearby. Attracted by the disturbance in the sand, the anglerfish moves in to investigate. This big-mouthed predator is quite capable of devouring the flounder whole. Putting faith in its camouflage, the flounder holds its nerve. Fooled by the flounder's disguise, the anglerfish moves off in search of its next victim. Anglerfish are amongst the craftiest killers on Australia's reefs. Another predator here uses more insidious drugs to subdue a victim before moving in for the kill. Activity on the reef ebbs and flows with the sunlight filtering to the seabed. As the moon rises above the black waters, one of the planet's deadliest creatures embarks on its hunt. It's not as imposing as a killer shark, nor does it instill primal fear as a snake might but it wields one of the animal kingdom's most potent chemical weapons. Its sting is a death sentence. Having kept a low profile throughout the day, this predator emerges from its sandy hiding spot. A carnivorous, snail. Its movements are deceptively slow, but it conceals a lightning-fast pneumatic weapon, one that delivers a fatal dose of venom. Conus geographus is the most deadly of all the cone snails. Its venom is more complex than the deadliest of snake venom and has claimed the lives of more than 30 people. There is no anti-venom to treat its fatal sting. The cone snail prowls the ocean floor, creeping forward with its muscular foot. Its siphon packed with chemosensors, probes the water. With this appendage, it can sense the chemical trails of prey from considerable distances. It's picked up a scent. A venomous weaver fish. 
The dorsal spines of this fish are delivery mechanisms for its own mix of defensive toxins. But the cone snail is undeterred. As the sinister assassin creeps towards its mark, the faster moving weaver fish makes no attempt to flee. It's paralyzed, not by fear, but by a mixture of chemicals that the cone snail has released into the surrounding water. Fast acting sedatives that immobilize prey. The cone snail now casts its net. Its extendable mouth begins to engulf the weaver fish. This elastic appendage doubles the snail's length and appears impervious to the weaver fish's toxic defences. With the fish trapped, the cone snail extends its proboscis and readies a kill shot. It fires a hollow tooth filled with toxins. The harpoon floods the fish with venom instantly attacking the nervous system and shutting down nerve impulses, quickly leading to the prey's demise. The cone snail begins its slow escape from the scene of the crime. Returning to its darkened lair to ingest its meal in solitude and safety. When next holidaying on an Australian beach, you should remember one thing. The crystal clear waters of this island paradise are both beautiful and deadly. Stonefish plague the shallows. Lethal octopi haunt the rock pools and great white sharks will see you before you see them. Plying the tools of their trade, these deadly Australians are closer than you think.